Okay guys, we're on a 2013 Chevrolet Camaro. And I just finished putting in a different cluster. Um, because the old one was kind of flaky. This car's got 180,000 miles on it. And the new cluster is showing 139. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we're going to see, I'll we'll close this door. We're going to see if the X tool, D8, um, will correct that. Uh, it's hit and miss, I think, on what these tools are capable of doing. So just because it says that it's capable of correcting the odometers, I don't know if that's the case on every car. So I wouldn't count on a tool like this to do to correct. I don't even know if it's going to work on this car. First thing we want to do, special function. So I've got the car hooked up. I do have the key on. Dash is all lit up. Um, we'll go to special functions. We'll go here to instrument cluster. Then there's a disclaimer here. Um, it talks about legalities. Agree. Uh, this is cluster software 30.2. Um, we'll go to Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, this is a 2013, so I guess we're going to need this one, 2010. See the little dash going that way, 2010 and forward, all the way up to, uh, I think, would that say 2019? So we're going to do mileage adjustment. Okay, vehicle is on, engine is not running. There's the VIN. Okay, um, so it looks like. This tool only displays mileage in kilometers, so I'm going to need to, um, let me get my phone, go to Google, um, and we're going to figure out what 180,000 miles is in kilometers, so give me just a second. Okay, got my phone here, I'm going to go to Google, miles to kilometers, and what we have is a uh, nice little converter here. Put in 180. Whoop, you're not even seeing that, are you? Uh, where are we at? 180,000. Where's my zero? 180,000 miles equals 289,000 kilometers. I'm not going to worry about getting it right on. If we're within a few miles, I'll be I'll be fine with that. So 289,000 kilometers. So 289, that's what we're going to need to put in here. So we're going to go to change mileage. After the adjustment is completed, if the single mileage is not counted, manually reset it. Not sure exactly what that means, but whatever. Uh, what did we say? 289? 289,000. Now, I'm going to put you right here. I'm going to hit OK on the tool. Okay, so the next screen that just popped up was input value 289,000, yes or no. I'm going to hit yes. Then it did change, 179,576. Okay, uh, switch ignition off and restart engine. Switch ignition off and restart engine. I don't know if that means actually restart the engine. I'm just going to go to on with the key. 179,000. And it's saying uh, change mileage succeeded. So we're within about, what, 600 miles from what it actually was. I mean, I guess I could go in here. So 
So 289, 4.500. See if we can get it closer. 289, 500 kilometers. Hit OK, input value. So whenever I hit yes, Okay, so that's closer. Do it one more time. And then we'll call it good enough. So it looks like this tool does work pretty good. Um, you know what? We're just going to do 290. We'll do 290 even. Input value of 290. Okay. That's pretty darn close right there. 180,197 miles. Make sure it retained it, and it did. Now, here's all the cars that it, you know, that's at least on the, the tool here. Whether or not it will actually do all these cars? I have no idea. It's not like I need to change odometers very often, but when you do, it's nice to have that ability. Uh, just know that, you know, it's illegal to set an odometer back uh, farther than what it's supposed to be. And it's very easy to get caught doing that, believe it or not. Every time you get your vehicle inspected, they notate the odometer reading. You get an oil change. You take it in for servicing. They notate how many miles was on the vehicle at that time. So don't think that you're going to be able to set your odometer back without taking risk of getting caught. And uh, that's a huge fine. I don't know what it is, but uh, I, and I don't want to know. Anyway, now this is the X Tool D8. So. If you was curious as to whether or not it would correct mileage, it definitely will. At least at least on a 2013 Camaro, it will. I don't know about others. Uh, I guess that's it. You guys take care, and uh, have a good Christmas.